This is a true story. While on safari at the game park in Africa, I had a following hair raising and chilling experience. One day I decided to leave my vehicle at the roadside and walk down some 150 meters to a water hole trying to get a better camera shot of some game drinking. I was alone and only armed with my video camera. In my wildest dreams, I never expected that I could come face to face with a pride of lying and possible death. About 50 meters from the water hole, I started filming and to my surprise and shock, I noticed a lioness in my viewfinder, also walking in the direction of the water hole. Suddenly, she spotted me and came to a sudden halt staring at me. I wondered who were the most surprised, the lioness or me. I stood dead still, too scared to make a move. I knew backing up could worsen the situation, as a lion can easily outrun the fastest man and my vehicle was 100 meters away. Suddenly, she looked to her left, and to my surprise, a juvenile cup appears. I thought to myself, this is not good. A lioness with cups are very, very unpredictable and could be dangerous. Later, the cup went for a drink and some other movement caught my eye. It was a beautiful male lion, in prime condition, approaching the mother and the cup. The lioness, with two cups now, ran off to welcome dad. Again I thought to myself, this really isn't good, the threat is getting bigger. After being reunited with his family, the male lion also noticed me and starting to stare at me. I knew then I was in big trouble and great danger. A male lion will protect his own offspring vigorously to preserve his genes and I am the intruder into his territory and a possible threat to his cubs. Then things got worse. A second line is with three tiny cups also appeared on the scene. I could see that she too was very nervous about my presence. The huge male with his two lionesses and five cups were definitely not happy with me invading their territory. I was in real trouble. After the proud father welcomed his offspring he stood up, and at that stage I thought he was going to attack me. From experience I knew that if I retreat and turn my back on the pride, it could be fatal. They will then no longer see me as a threat, but maybe as a prey, and they will then definitely charge me. I had to stood my ground. Running away will be disastrous. Suddenly the male starts to walk sort of in my direction, and one of the tiny cups decided to follow his dad. Dad ordered him back to mum, but one of the other tiny cups wanted to show his dad how brave he was. But dad kept on staring at me and I'm starting to shiver. The situation were now getting very dangerous and I could see death staring me in the eyes. I also needed to keep an eye on the rest of the pride to my right, as they could be even a bigger threat than the male. I 
I started to swing the camera from left to right and left again, trying to stay alert. Suddenly, when I looked again, the male was gone. Ah, there he was, hiding behind the palms. It was stalemate, and he decided to lie down, but still staring at me. While looking at him through the viewfinder, I was too scared to make a move. The lionesses and their cups were still there where I saw them last, hiding behind the palm bush. And then suddenly, an elephant appears in my viewfinder. The male was not interested in the presence of the elephant, as his attention was solely focused on me. And mine on him. The lionesses and the cubs were still there. And the elephant? Well, somewhere. I was too scared to look. Then, one of the lionesses got irritated by my presence. She stood up, and again starting to stare at me. Now, I had to focus more sharply on both lion and lioness. Eventually, she got tired of me, and decided to go back to her cubs. Suddenly, the male stood up again. Now, looking more intimidating than ever. Then, another elephant appears. This time, a very old bull. I'm in trouble, I thought to myself. The lion was not deterred by the elephant at all, and he just kept on concentrating on me. Then one of the lionesses, and the cubs decided they had enough of this cat and mouse game and started to move off. Just to go and hide behind another bush. Maybe anticipating that an attack by the male on me was imminent. I could see the elephant. But where was King Lion? It was getting late. I decided that this cat and mouse game, or standoff, must come to an end. It would be dark soon, and I had to get back to camp, hopefully. There was only one thing to do now. Show the lion who is the boss. Show him who is the prey, and who is the predator. Show him that I'm not prey, and that I'm not scared of him. Instead of him charging me, I decided to charge him. Which I did. Right. Ah! Ah! Luckily for me, with positive results. Thank you for watching, and be careful. It's a jungle out there.